Royal Caribbean was founded in 1969 and contained three ships by 1972. Today, this cruise line sails every major sea, with 240 destinations spanning 60 countries. It also boasts some of the world's largest ships, including Wonder of the Seas at 1,188 feet long. There are currently 26 ships in the fleet, with two more to be released, including Utopia of the Seas and Icon of the Seas. All vessels are categorized into classes, based on similar features, amenities, and onboard activities. To help you understand the different classes, including what they offer and where they sail, let's embark on a ship comparison. To help simplify the explanations, we will eliminate of the seas from each ship name and will refer to them by their unique names. Vision Class As the oldest and smallest ships in the fleet, they lack the most current activities and attractions, but they still have a lot to offer, such as rock climbing, mini golf, a poolside cinema, live entertainment, and more. This class includes four vessels, Grandeur, Rhapsody, Enchantment, and the class namesake, Vision, with a capacity range between 2,400 and 2,700 guests. Depending on the ship, they contain between 9 to 14 bars, restaurants, and lounges. Some are complimentary, and some are an extra cost. Vision class has a distinguishing feature of nearly two acres of glass windows and walls for panoramic views of the ocean for sailings that include the Caribbean, Alaska, and Europe. Voyager class When the Voyager class was launched in 1999, these were the largest cruise ships in the world, at 1,020 feet in length. This class contains five vessels, which include Explorer, Adventure, Navigator, Mariner, and the class namesake, Voyager. Ships have a capacity range between 3,800 and 4,200 guests. Onboard activities include an ice rink at sea and a shopping mall concept called Royal Promenade, plus a rock climbing wall, mini golf, a flow rider surf simulator, live entertainment, trivia games, crafts, and sports like basketball, shuffleboard, ping pong, and more. There are also two pools and several jacuzzis. Between 14 to 19 bars, lounges, and restaurants are on board. Some are complimentary and some are at an extra cost. Voyager class routes include Port Canaveral to the Caribbean, LA to Mexico, Miami to Europe, and Galveston to New England and Eastern Canada. Radiance class. The layout of Radiance class ships differs from most other classes with a large open area called a centrum instead of a promenade or esplanade. Elevators run up the centrum with shops, bars, cafes, and amenities on decks surrounding the elevators. This class contains four ships, including Brilliance, Serenade, Jewel, and the namesake, Radiance, with a capacity range between 2,400 and 2,700 guests. At 962 feet long, distinguishing features include three acres of glass for stunning views, two level dining rooms, and a pool with a retractable glass roof. They also offer rock climbing, mini golf, basketball courts, live music, dance classes, a movie theater, and theme nights. Radiance class ships contain 15 to 19 bars, lounges, and restaurants and were built to sail around the world, with destinations including the Arctic Circle, Vanuatu, and Turkey, as well as traditional destinations like the Bahamas and Mexico. Freedom Class In 2006, Royal Caribbean launched the Freedom Class by introducing Freedom of the Seas with a resort-style Caribbean pool deck. Freedom was then joined by Liberty, and independence, with the three ships having a capacity range between 4,500 and 4,900 passengers. 
Distinguishing features of the Freedom class include cantilevered hot tubs, a flow rider surf simulator, water slides, and the H20 zone, which is a colorful water park. Plus, they contain a rock wall, an ice rink, plenty of onboard sports, and between 6 and 15 bars, lounges, and restaurants that are a mix of complimentary and extra cost. Oasis class. This class contains the largest and most distinctive ships with countless activities and dining options. Along with the namesake Oasis, the other four ships in this class are Allure, Harmony, Symphony, and the new Wonder of the Seas. The unique feature of the Oasis class is that ships are divided into seven neighborhoods, while the new Wonder has eight. Neighborhoods include the Boardwalk, which contains dining and entertainment, as well as a carousel and an arcade. The Pool and Sports Zone contains four pools, water slides, and an adults-only solarium. Central Park is for shopping and dining in a park-like setting of 10,000 plants. The Royal Promenade is for more dining and shopping. Entertainment Place hosts a comedy club, jazz club, and more. The Youth Zone is for children's immersive activities, and Vitality is comprised of a gym, fitness classes, a spa, and a beauty salon. Plus, there are between 20 and 27 bars, lounges, and restaurants depending on the ship. Cruise routes mainly include the Caribbean and Mediterranean. Quantum Class This class launched in 2014 with Quantum of the Seas and has since been joined by Anthem, Ovation, Spectrum, and Odyssey, with Utopia coming in 2024. Quantum ships feature the most modern designs, as well as onboard activities in an indoor sports arena called Cplex. This includes dance and exercise classes, pickleball, soccer, roller skating, and volleyball, as well as bumper cars and a circus school. Quantum Class also uniquely features a skydiving simulator by iFly, as well as an observation capsule called North Star for 360 degree views of the ship. The pool deck presents indoor and outdoor pools, a splash area, and an adults only solarium, all under a retractable roof with climate control to allow for swimming even while cruising Alaskan waters. These ships host 4,900 to 5,600 guests and offer 12 to 19 bars and restaurants. Spectrum and Odyssey technically belong to the Quantum Ultra class due to extra features like additional specialty restaurants and the Skypad, which jets out from the ship with a glass walkway. Sailing destinations include Alaska, Hawaii, Australia, New Zealand, the South Pacific, Southeast Asia and Japan, as well as Europe. Icon of the Seas will debut in 2024 and will launch the Icon class, which plans to have three ships by 2030. For more travel information, as well as pro tips for cruising, visit our website at goglobehopper.com and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you can become a Glow Popper.